Hey Gemini, it's Chaos from Chaos of the Divine Feminine and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to the OGs and welcome to the new one, the newbies. Um, I do have a contest going right now for free readings. This is my Halloween hair. If you're able to um guess my um my costume, you can you can win a chance at getting a free reading a re a free reading. So just drop the the your guess in the comments of the Halloween video. You'll see it says free reading. You'll see the uh the title says free personal reading and it's a black and white picture and it says free personal reading on the thumbnail. So if you're um and if you aren't able to comment on that video cuz for some reason YouTube has been deleting the comments, then you can also comment on my TikTok, which I think is linked down in the description box below. I think I'm going to do a quick little tutorial video for this hairstyle. This is actually a 90s braided hairstyle. You can do it with braids or locks. This is from the 80s and the 90s. I've been seeing this. Like, there is an old school... Um, um, independent film just another girl on the irt i think is what it's called it's about a girl from the bronx she gets pregnant she hides her pregnancy her and her boyfriend deliver the baby in his bedroom and she tries to hide the pregnancy and she she was they were about to i think they were like oh yeah i remember they're about to throw the baby away and then they end up not doing it and it's a good uh, it's a good ass independent short film just another girl on the IRT, I believe is what it's called. That's where I got this hairstyle from. She does it in the movie. And um, it's a very quick, easy style. It takes like 20 seconds or less to do. So I think I'm going to do a, a little video, a short little video um, to show how to do this style. It's quick and easy. I like it. It's cute. Yeah. All right, so let's see, uh, Gemini, what do y'all have coming up for the next 72 hours? Let me get three. I got four cards. Oh, no, I got three cards. I got three cards. So we have the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Let's get more information. What does Gemini have coming up within the next 72 hours? Hold on. My eyelash is getting stuck. Tell me about this high priestess energy. Too many cards. And I did see, I think, the five of swords. So there is some deceit. Okay, so the high priestess. There's pos. Okay. We have the sun card, the four of pentacles, the high priestess, the ace of wands, and the death card. It is very possible that you guys may be a, a mistress. And you're cutting off a relationship. You're you're just now finding out that you're actually a mistress or a side chick, and you're cutting off that that type that relationship. Tell me about this death card. Tell me more. Okay. If you weren't a mistress, you were with somebody that kept you a secret. And they were just using you for money. You may not have been a mistress. Either way, this person, I feel they possibly were messing with multiple people, whether you were a mistress or not. Whether it, so if you were a mistress, they were in an actual committed relation, a secret committed relationship outside of you. If you were not a mistress, you were not the only person they were sleeping with. Um, and I see that they were using you for financial gain. They may have been using you for money. You would, you would know this is you if you were messing with somebody and every day they're asking you for money for something random. Hey, can you give me $10 so I can get something to eat? Can you uh, give me $20 for gas? Whatever, okay? I do see you leaving them alone, cutting that, that, cutting that relationship, ending that relationship, taking a, uh, taking a leap of faith or pursuing new opportunities while being single okay tell me about this three of pentacles please uh, 
uh, right now recognized by PND and Drake is on. Uh, I know in that that song they talked about um, basically talked about a chick that they were like groupies using using for funds type situation. Remind me to get them to t them tires that you asked me for a month ago, baby. Like, yeah, using you for your funds, using you for what they need. Same, same shit. That's what that song is about. But the only difference is in recognize. Like, y'all may be okay with it. In that recognize song, this they are literally tricking off on women that are using them. Okay, so with the three of pentacles, we have the the nine of swords, the four of swords, and the three of wands so um it looks like y'all are trying to come out of this anxiety y'all are trying to renew yourself heal yourself and come out of this anxiety this nine of swords energy where you probably having sleepless nights you're having bad dreams you're just constantly having anxiety you're stressed the fuck out over whatever this situation is. You're stressed the fuck out over this person and constantly trying to give to them and not receiving back. It's completely one-sided. So now you are ready to lay this to rest. You're ready to heal from it. You're tired of being in that energy you want. You're, so now that you're resting and you're cutting yourself off from that and you're trying to heal from that, you're waiting to move forward. You're waiting for something better with this three of wands i see you waiting for something better waiting for balance with this two of pentacles waiting to get out of this this energy this five of cups energy this lack this uh, this emotionally um unfulfilled you're unfulfilled emotionally you're depressed you're you're ready to get out of this energy you're ready to cut things off with this ace of swords yeah you ready to get out of this be, this energy of constantly being betrayed you don't want to work on this situation anymore we got the seven of pentacles in reverse with the ten of wands you're tired of being taken advantage of you're tired of constantly being betrayed. Yeah, you're definitely ready to heal. You you have some wishes that are going to be coming true really soon. With this page of pentacles and this star landing on this ten of pentacles, y'all guys, y'all are manifest manifesting some wishes with an emperor. Okay, Gemini. So you're leaving behind this three of wands, uh, this three of swords, this queen of wands in reverse. You're leaving that energy behind. You're tired of being emotionally unfulfilled. You're tired of getting your heart broken. You're tired of connecting with men sexually and not mentally and spiritually. This queen of wands in reverse. We all are guilty of it. You get bored. You get lonely. You get tired of of you know, not connected with anybody. So you settle with like friend with benefits type situations or whatever. That's what this queen of wands in reverse is this. You're tired of connecting with people that do that are that are just instant sexual gratification. At the end of the day, when you're going after instant sexual gratification, as soon as you bust that nut, you don't feel good. Like you may feel good during the act, but as soon as that nut is busted and you're done, that's it. Like, is nothing more to it. It makes you actually feel more like shit than you did before you even had sex with the person. So I see you coming out of this energy, Gemini. I see you. Someone may have been infiltrating your dreams, trying to send you messages through your dreams. With this moon card, magician in reverse in the eight of wands. In the strength card. It looks like you're fighting like, so Leo, uh, I just said Leo. I don't know why I said Leo. Um, Gemini, you may have Leo placements. If you've been having issues with where you used you like, okay, let me say this. 
and I actually today, oh my gosh, okay, I, I get it, Spirit. Okay, so I was actually called to make a video earlier, but I had a lot of stuff going on today. I had a, uh, I had a couple of appointments scheduled for, with clients. I don't just do this. I have like, I have a body sculpting business outside of this. Um, so I had a couple of clients today, but we had a tornado warning and we had crazy weather today. So my day was completely discombobulated, but I got the message this morning. I had a dream. And then I like the last three mornings in a row, I had weird ass crazy dreams. The last two months I have not, I have not been dreaming. I've been getting blocked from dreams. And at first, so this is part of the, I'm going to make another video outside of this, but this is what I was, this was the video I was supposed to make. Okay. And it's coming up in your video, Gemini. So it must be meant for you to hear this. So if you have been on your spiritual journey and you've been going through your different ascensions to where you've been having vivid dreams and prophetic dreams and receiving downloads from your spirit guides and your ancestors through your dreams and then all of a sudden just the last month or two you completely stopped dreaming that's what happened to me and you you may have even been feeling like damn am i slacking am i slipping on my pimping like what's up i'm not receiving downloads like i was i just completely stopped dreaming if you've been worried that uh you're not doing what you're supposed to be spirit doing spiritually and you're being punished for that that is not what that was i'm gonna tell you what that was this was the dream that i had and this was what the message that spirit told me to give if you have been slowly ascending and your gifts have been getting stronger and then all of a sudden you you have just not been dreaming lately it is because you are being spiritual you are being psychically attacked there is somebody at least one poor person probably more than one person that sees your gifts sees your abilities and they have been attacking you psychically they've been trying to infiltrate your dreams they've been sending psychic attacks to attack your crown chakra your uh third eye chakra they've been trying to they've been trying to blind your intuition they've been trying to attack your spiritual gifts okay that most likely has been happening to you you not being able to dream this last couple of months has been your spirit guides and your ancestors protecting you from those psychic attacks you have not been able to dream to stop them from infiltrating your dreams, astral projecting into your dreams. Like I had an in instance of a couple months ago. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now because at first I couldn't talk. This happened to me like three months, maybe three months ago. I would have to look in my dream journal. I keep a journal of my dreams, okay? It's in my dream journal. I can tell you the exact date that this happened. Um, I do have somebody that's been Attacking me through black magic, trying to attack me psychically, trying to attack my crown chakra, my intuition, all of that. Um, they did make it into my dreams a couple of times a few months ago, but a couple months, a few months ago, this I realized what it was. I received messages, I, I, doing my pulling my own cards and listening to two readers that I really trust. I've been getting all the information I've been needing. And um, I've been doing extra stuff to protect myself. So that person could not infiltrate my dreams no more. He made it into three of my dreams. After that, he couldn't make it anymore. It's crazy. He still, since he couldn't make it into my dreams, I don't think he knows this. So if he's watching this right now, which he watches all my shit. So he's going to see this. I'm going to tell you what the fuck it was so that you can just confirm. Here you go. You know who you are. Whatever. You know who the fuck you are. And I know you're watching this right now. So so that you can confirm for yourself. So you know. No, nigga, you couldn't get in my dreams. He couldn't get in my dreams. And I don't think. I know he does not know this. He don't know this. I know he knows something happened. But he don't know what the fuck happened. This nigga actually astro projected into my room. He couldn't get in my dream. So he astro projected into my room. Beside, standing over me beside my bed. I opened my eyes like something woke me up. I was in a dead sleep. I was sleeping so hard. I was not dreaming that night. 
I and I even wrote it in my journal. I was not dreaming on that night. I woke up out of a dead sleep. But the way I woke up was crazy because you know how some I don't like the way I woke up. It was like I woke up first, but I didn't open my eyes. So I woke up and I still had my eyes closed. Something told me, okay, wake up. You need to get up. You need to wake up. You need to open your eyes. You need to open your eyes. And something about the way I heard you need to open your eyes, it alerted me that I needed to be subtle with it and not obvious. So I laid there for a couple of minutes, uh, like not even a, maybe four or five seconds. I laid there and then I slowly opened my eyes. I slowly opened my eyes and he was standing right there beside my bed the way I, I didn't even move. I was laying at the way my bed is right now. I was actually laying on this side right here where my fan is. You know my room because you've been in my room one time. So he, if he, I know he watching this. He'd been in my room one time. I opened my eyes and I saw him standing over me. And I'm just thinking like, huh, okay. And I didn't get alarmed. I didn't get worried. I felt a complete sense of protection. I'm like, oh shit, okay. I knew what it was as soon as I woke up. I'm like, okay, he couldn't make it in my dream. So he's there. So I open my eyes and I'm just staring at him for a good 10 seconds. And it's like the way I, so it's like it was a delay. The way I woke up and how I just opened my eyes without moving or giving away that I actually woke up. Like there was no, if you were in my room with me, there's no way that you would have known that I woke up because it was already dark in here. So you wouldn't have been able to see my eyes. I woke up. Without moving, without making a noise, I just woke up and then I opened my eyes. He was standing there. It took about 10 seconds for him to realize that I was staring at him and he was staring at me. Slowly, he started to dissolve until he just disappeared. And then I saw my fan again. So he was standing between me and my fan. I couldn't see my fan. I just saw him. And he was wearing a white shirt. Nigga, you was wearing a white shirt at night. Yes, I fucking saw you. So I go, I close my eyes again. And I wait a couple of minutes. I'm just laying there with my eyes closed for a couple of minutes. I still hadn't moved. I open my eyes again. The nigga is standing there again. So he's still, he's standing there. But he realized quicker, instead of 10 seconds, maybe he was standing there for about six seconds. He realized I was sitting there just, I went from, and then I just slowly opened my eyes. And I'm just looking at him like. So he he dissolved again. He did, it was, it did, I, I did that three different times. And then he was gone, gone, gone after that. So you being blocked from your dreams has been your protection, honestly. Like this shit is getting real. We are, if y'all have not noticed how much the times have changed, what's going on in this world, what's happening in this world, if like certain shit is going on to where Pretty soon, people are going to be out of work if, like, have no other choice to either conform or be out of work, conform or not be allowed in grocery stores, conform or not be allowed to travel, get on airplanes, conform or not be able to do a lot of stuff, like, to just be out in the world and interact with the world. You have to conform or you're not going to be able to do that. Or if you don't want to conform and you're okay, like, you have to be able to sustain yourself. Energy, if you can afford solar panels, uh, creating your own ways of growing food, like, shit is real. That's not just worldly. The shit that's happening within the world is also spiritual. We are literally in a spiritual war right now, okay? So... 
you are being protected by your ancestors and your spirit guides. That's why you have not been able to dream lately. You probably, this last couple of nights, if you're watching this right now, odds are you have not been able to dream for the last couple of months. And odds are you finally had a dream last night or the last couple of nights you've been having dreams out of nowhere. Shit is starting to move. So you need to try and decipher your dreams and figure out what it is that your, your particular spirit guides are trying to tell you. If you need to get a reading, you need to get a reading. If you can pull your own cards, you pull your own cards. It's time to decipher these messages so that you know how to move. Because shit is getting real. Shit is happening. People are losing their minds. They're creating, they're not acting out of themselves. A lot of these people that are doing these spell work, they are acting out of their lower shadow selves. And it's not even just that. Because they're acting out of their lower shadow selves, they're able to get in certain entities attached to them. Especially these men that are out here having sex with multiple partners. Especially these women out here who are having sex with multiple par partners. These low vibrational people who are acting off of lust. They are the main ones that are mostly susceptible to this type of bullshit. Okay? And then you may be... A one person type of person only deal with one person, but you're dealing with the one person who's dealing with several people. So those entities and them demons are getting attached to you too. Okay. You are also at risk of being spiritually attacked. That's where this, that's where I feel like this reading needed to go. Okay. Cause I wouldn't have went on that rant without this. I don't even know where I left off with these cards. I see the cards sitting here, but I had to veer off on that because that was the message that needed to be put out. I do see you guys coming, stepping into your strength and letting go. This is something you definitely need to let go of, okay? It's a king of cups, a water sign that y'all need to get away from. Gemini, whoever this water sign is, this water, this king of cups, this water sign, masculine or feminine, it don't matter. That's who y'all need to get away from. That's the one that's, um, and y'all are going to hear from them very soon. Y'all are going to receive messages from them very soon with this page of wands. This is the person that y'all need to, to keep yourself protected against, okay? That's all I have for you guys. Uh, that's what's going to happen within the next 72 hours. Y'all can expect sometime this week, this weekend, to hear from this person. To experience some sort of weird ass dream that's very telling. This person might not be in that. They could either be in the dream or not. Either way, the weird ass dream that you're going to have, you're going to have to decipher it. And it's going to have something to do with you needing to let some shit go. So that it does not drag you down. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.